O'Donnell and I am from Donegal. I'm living here, married in County Offaly and I make large scale architectural glass. It's a, a, it's a scale model of a piece that we have to make three metres tall, so we'll probably make it in two pieces. I specialise in the production of glass art for public and private clients, that being private clients being some people that build homes abroad and here in Ireland and they want me to do a piece that's a pure art piece but in the sense that it, it work, it, it's commissioned for a particular location so it's not just a print that they hang on the wall or a painting so they invite me into their home to, to um, look at a particular area and I make something for them to their price point and to their location within their time scale. That's really what I do. And it's, it's, it's architectural glass is my specialization. What motivated me to start my own business was purely really to have be in full control of what I do and to, to do something that I love. You know, the glass is just the most awesome material and it, it just, every day it gives you something new and the colors are so rewarding. And I make beautiful pieces that people want to buy. And um, I make them, you know, to, for private and corporate um, individuals and also for private homes. And, you know, it's just very satisfying, you know, to, to make purely what you enjoy to do. I think the best thing about running your own business is that you're in complete control. You're, therefore, you're in complete control of your life. You can make your choices. You can make your blunders. If you feck it up, so be it. It's up to you. But you are in complete control. And you have a choice to decide, OK, I've got a great product here. I'm going to take it to Dubai. I'm going to take it to Russia. I'm going to, I'm going to redesign it and package it in this particular format. You're in complete control of what you do. And, you know, that's how you're meant to lead your life. We're, we're not meant to be cooped into little boxes and told that you're there to work eight hours. That's not the way we perform to the best of our ability. You know, we have to work from our heart and work from our head and, and work positively and make, make things that are truthful and make things that, that are appreciated by others. And I think that's, that's the, the crux of it, really. Um, the best advice that I could give to someone, to a woman setting up her own business is to, when they get the idea to do it, is to focus purely on that idea. Don't complicate it by trying to do other things and, you know, adding, um, adding extra bits onto it. Focus on doing it. If it's just bun making that you're making, that you make oh. the best buns and that they're most beautiful buns and that they're perfectly packaged and that they just sing from the box and it, they'll, they'll sell themselves. So some people try to complicate things and um, I, I find that if you can focus on really what your God-given talents are and you have to really love what you do and, um, and I think that will come through in the product. I think that will come through in the, in the final sell so that the pieces will hop off the shelves and um, really that, that's what I would advise really. I think the most challenging part of, for me, for challenging part of the business is a few things, is keeping up with these constant technologies, um, is computers, you know, and, you know, scanning items and emailing them and, and Photoshop and keeping, keeping yourself hot and up to date and um, modern. And that, that really, you know, you're, you're required to do courses and you're required to know how all of these things work. And so that's like another constant updating of technologies. And um, I think that's one thing that I think is a real challenge, you know, because sometimes I don't want to do those things. I just want to do what I'm good at is what, what is the making. And then I think for a woman, the reality of it is juggling, is juggling family and juggling real life situations where 
you know, you, you're about to answer the phone and you're saying to what, the kids around you, Kunis, now I'm answering the phone. And, you know, God knows, it could be an Arab prince on the end of it, you know. But, but you have to keep calm because you're dealing with large-scale glass pieces and you have to focus on having that conversation and not being a complete lula of a mother. You know, you really have to keep everybody nice and calm and produce the goods at the same time, you know and have some sort of mental sanity at the end of the day. Like, that is a challenge, because kids are a whole other job. And, and you know, keeping staff happy and keeping clients happy, you know, it's, it's you know, you just juggle it. And, um, like, th that is a challenge. I see the future for the Glass Hammer Studios is to maintain what we've already done before, is to keep the magic and to keep the quality and to look at developing new markets abroad, uh, one of which is Dubai, and we're going out there now at the end of November, and we've set up some meetings with fantastic clients, and we have some wonderful new possibilities in the development of new hotels and the whole new island concept that they're doing out there. Um, you see, we, we can't deal with hundreds of customers, so we, we, we just need to get one or two really good clients in these areas, not lots of clients. So that's what we're doing is to focusing on areas and working those areas nice and slowly and taking our time really to, to maintain those clients. <laughs>